14 cadres of proscribed United Tribal Liberation Army James Group, including outfit chairman, surrender along with arms to Chief Minister Nbiren led Manipur government. Chief Minister Nongthumambiren says Centre has approved Manipur to take loan amount of 3,500 crore rupees from World Bank to convert major roads in Manipur into concrete roads. United Committee Manipur UCM appeals to relevant authorities to immediately stop ongoing fencing work at Border Pillar 81 area in Kuata Kuno. Manipur reports two positive cases of COVID-19 out of 78 samples tested in past 24 hours. No fatality. Daily COVID positivity rate stands at 2.56%. And India reports 2,745 new COVID-19 cases, 2,236 recoveries and six deaths in past 24 hours. Active COVID caseload rises to 18,000. 386. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Joyce Usham. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the news in details. 14 cadres of the proscribed United Tribal Liberation Army, James Group today, surrendered along with their arms and ammunition. Welcoming the decision of the militants to give up violence and weapons, Chief Minister N. Birain conveyed that violent struggle involving bloodshed cannot bring a lasting solution and appeal to those who have taken such parts to return to mainstream and lead a normal life. Chairman of Utla, Tongtang Singsit, and Home Secretary of Utla, Lesarkai Singson, along with 12 other cadres from the group, handed over their weapons. That included 11 firearms, one Chinese hand grenade a detonator, along with materials used in making IED to the chief minister. State Home Department organized a homecoming ceremony at the Banque Hall of the First Manipur Rifles. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. Birain elaborated that people who surrender and lay down their weapons can avail benefits under homecoming rehabilitation for militant in Northeast scheme. He maintained that a grant of 4 lakh rupees will be provided to each surrenderer and also 6,000 rupees as monthly stipend for three years. Extra incentives will also be provided to cadres who surrender along with their weapons. They will also get time to win in a rehabilitation center for three years where they will be provided vocational training based on their choice. The chief minister went on to say that service opportunities under the government may even be provided to those who surrender. Chief Minister N. Birain assured of keeping Union Home Minister Amit Shah's promise of not taking any legal actions against the surrenderers. It may be mentioned that a total of 681 militants, including women, cadres of various proscribed outfits, have surrendered with 598 weapons since 2005 so far. Homecoming, so many Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji ki maagi wakhal on chibu thaja viva maana nourish the ashi pira ipa safu developing the change humanity attachment shi ki kod mayam shi guru gana na shi kulai paira gara thado ga mayum thado ga sa nura vaisya na maya mama yum na halak bhi ima kishin na waka ni an honorable union home minister ammi saaj na haik ka ward maa kipto guni honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji ki bharat the peace program one of the lower ka thogda ka thogda particularly nourish the maana yanga ima maagi
Center approves Manipur to take loan amount of 3,500 crore rupees from the World Bank for converting major roads in Manipur into concrete roads. Speaking to media at BJP head office at Nitya Park to take today, Chief Minister Nongthumam Biren said the Manipur government targets to fix the perennial problem of bad roads following every rainfall by converting all the major roads into concrete roads. He disclosed that a meeting was held in this regard yesterday where wherein the India's uh, Finance Committee gave a Approval to borrow 3,500 crore rupees from the World Bank. NBRN revealed that Union Home Minister Amit Shah will visit Manipur before June 30 to inaugurate the newly constructed civil secretariat and 100 other infrastructure in the state as a part of state government's 100 days action plan program. BJP Manipur Pradesh uh, President A. Sarda was also present in the press meet which highlighted the works taken during the past eight years of Narendra Modi-led government in the country. Chief Minister N. Biren appeals to BJP workers to commit themselves to develop Manipur. Honorable Union Home Minister, invite to Jari, Tari Kuntra Bhagi Manung Damal Akhanda Achoba as his secretary, Adukate Ate. ชาวบุคคลมาสังหารพินาวัยในไฮเจอร์มาสุชาติชาวบุคคลมาลากันในไฮเวอร์เกียร์สูเรนส์บีบีไรมันพูดกี่ลัมบีซีเรนิสยัน
Manipur Rome, the Sanctuary, like Hoki Lamangi, was said. I quite a tuba matanda, a mook, I quite central government, the state government, the Tamunaba, Masi, and then the Zoko, Hyderabani, Edu, Sarkarki, Kenosika, Interlaitaba, a response. Aduna, Masi, I quite a mook Pajaga, Lunana, civil society or national Lunana, a quick is Haitegi, a quick Lamanganaba, a regi border pillar, sip to Slavis, a quite Manipurki, Lamangi, was said. Masi, I quite strongly, we are against with that. I quay Adum Matam Punamakta, I quay Laman the Nabai Koi, Amu Masitabaka, Nana Bai Koi, Sam Saragani. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC kick started two day Nav Sankal meeting today. Congress party initiated the nationwide Nav Sankal with an aim to uproot BJP government by 2024 and to strengthen the Congress party. Speaking to media, Congress leader and former MP Dr. T. H. Mainasat, the meeting will discuss topics on BJP adding to the plights of common man by hiking the cost of essential commodities and other issues facing the public under the BJP government. He said the initiative will help Congress to come back to power in the next election and bring a major change in the country. That high school level, that the top level, that the grassroots level, that the ideas, my am group, that the energy, my am, see, no one must be percolate to that. The government, my dear, the government ready for that. That India will have a Congress government in 2024. See, that 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 has been done. That is why, 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 that is State Health Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan says the health sector will improve only when doctors and grassroots level health workers work with sincerity. He was speaking at the launching ceremony of Surakshit Matritva Ashwasan Suman Scheme and inaugural of new operation theatre at Wangwe Community Health Centre today. Directorate of Health Services and State Maternity Health Division National Health Mission jointly organized the event. Wangwe MLA K H Loken and former Wangwe MLA O Lukoi attended the event. Dr S Ranjan said Suman Scheme will benefit expecting mothers, infants, and young children. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Loken said. Wangoi CHC is one of the leading CHCs in the state and patients from Taubal, Kakching and Bishnapur district come at the CHC for treatment. He urged the state government to enhance manpower and infrastructure of the CHC. Uh, doctors have improved the health system. Improve the Grassroots have improved the health system. Ashas have improved the health Nurses have improved the Ultimately, doctors have improved the health system. They have improved the health system. They have improved the team work. They have improved the health system. They have improved the health delivery system. They have improved the health delivery system. They have improved the health mana simadi toromi ai gi matam da simadi masak thopa thabak thok madi toromi haiba do ai laibir staff sing da sacrifice do bir ga thoi hakchang yauna ko gi miyam gi sewa ta wiram hai bi sing Thanga MLA Tongbram Robin Rose stresses on the importance of education in shaping an individual and the society as a whole. Speaking at the opening of Manipur Institute of Open Schooling MIOS at Ghari Awanglaikai in Imphal today, T. Robin Rose said that the institute will provide the learning opportunity to those who can't get formal education. Taking part in the event, MIOS Vice President and former Oinam MLA L. Radhakishore said, MIOS is youth oriented and it aims to provide vocational training to youths in Manipur. Manipur is of open schooling. ตะบงนิวบอเซปกิตะบงนิวบะคุยกุกยานตะหันปกิอะปะมีมอยกุปกิทะบะนิไฮบะซิมายานะไฮเจเลงิ <laughs> Former landowners of Yaiti Bilokon appealed to Manipur government to return their land which the government had acquired for the construction of Sports University. The former landowners said they are ready to return the compensation amount they had received from the government. Speaking to media, President of 44 Yaiti Bilokon, 
Land Development Association, Kundrakpam Romin Kumar, said that a case is still pending at the court over the matter. He condemned the industry department for initiating works at the controversial site. Romin Kumar appeals to wait until the court comes out with a verdict. In any stage, we are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. हंडोक जगे हंड जगे सरकार की पैसा सिंगा दो ऐ कोई हंडोक जगे आये तो ना हाई कोर्ट के सत्ता सत्तरी बनी सत्ता ना सत्ता ना हाउजिक से स्पोर्ट्स ना इंडस्ट्री दा मचेत अम्म अम्म पितो ऐ पीरी बल्लम अशी ऐ कोई ट्रैवल खाते की लम नी अधुन ट्रैवल सिंग ऐ कोई की हिंगना बा उपाय दी अतो पा अताई लेते P. Sonamani, a retired IPS officer and socio-political commentator, today clarified that his views expressed during one of the episodes of Impact News' Manuhudna discussion program was not targeted to any community, nor faith or religion. Speaking to Impact News at his uh, Thangmaiban residence, P. Sonamani said he used a metaphor which was not targeted to anyone in the episode on non-announcement of IRB result. He reiterated that his remarks did not target the Brahmin community of Manipur. A Hindu Samaspu, a Yam Lunay Toji, Ishanesu Pamji, a Kanagum, the Hindu Kang, the Christian Kang, the Muslim Kang, the Medi Maruka Kang, the Adigim, a teacher, but the Aina Sinna, Sinni Kenaba, Awang, and in my late eight, want to learn chop money. Marmaduna, Aina Hai wishing door. Why am I Nika Tango? Lana Lobigano, Aina Kachikra Shoyabasu, Adomna, Ayako. Aw masih kerja tentang mana hai pada pandang mumpi, kerja tentang show ini bani hai mau wakan sih lobby. Who reported two positive cases of COVID-19 out of 78 samples tested in the past 24 hours? Daily COVID positivity rate stands at 2.56 percent. COVID active caseload rises to nine. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room. Coronavirus has affected 1,37,240 people and claimed 2,120 lives in the state so far. With one recovered case in the past 24 hours, total recovered cases reach 1,35,111. Recovery rate remains at 98.45%. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we'll bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Admission open. Triangle Tutorial Center (TGC) Moto Career Path Start Here. Sangai Pro Mamanglekai Near Little Flower School Da Kosem Nalaba Class 11 Amadi 12 Science Ki Foundation Course Jun Tara Gamangal Ishinga Ni Kundani Thoi Tegi Hongzara Gani Experience Lai Raba Ozaka Yana Physics, Chemistry, Biology Amadi Match Takpi Tambi Gani Form Available From 20th May 2022 Agu Pamarol Gidamag 8837291003 Natraga 74218188857 Presto personalized wonders. Impal the noun hangdok cherry. Hide basida. Personalized gifts. Corporate gifts. Awards and mementos. Home decor. Office rubber stamp. Nasing ba potlam sing. Mapam basida pangbigani. Nasi maglang sing birau. Tila grass enterprises. Presto Tangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong Impal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India added 2,745 new COVID-19 cases, 2,236 recoveries and 6 death cases in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active caseload rises to 18,386. Total recoveries are 4 crore 26 lakh 17,810. Recovery rate stands at 98.74%. That stole reaches 5,24,636. 
Over 193 crore 57 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 53 crore 29 lakh 52,000 people. It has claimed above 63 lakh 14,000 lives and recoveries are above 50 crore 40 lakh 40,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 26 lakh 30,000 in the world. Chief Minister Nongthumam Biren today distributed the NCDC Regional Awards for Cooperative Excellence and Merit 2021 to two cooperative societies of the state. National Cooperative Development Corporation, Guwahati, organized the event at the Darbar Hall of the CM Secretariat. Karam Awanglekai Handloom and Handicrafts Cooperative Society in Fall West received a Certificate of Excellence Award, which included a citation and a cash award of 25,000 rupees, while Kabam Maning Lekai Weavers Cooperative Society received the Certificate of Merit Awards, which included a citation and a cash award of 20,000 rupees. Speaking on the occasion, N. Biren stated that there is a need for sincerity and honesty on the part of the cooperative societies for development in the state as they are the ones who are working at the grassroots level. He also stated that a screening committee has been formed to identify the defunct and inactive registered societies of the state. Expressing dissatisfaction over the underutilization of funds given by NCDC, the Chief Minister said that a lack of genuineness among the societies was the main cause. Additional Chief Secretary P. Waife, Minister for Cooperation, Nemcha Kipgen, Regional Director, NCDC, Sebastian Joseph, Registrar for Cooperative Societies Manipur, Valentina Arambam, officials of NCDC and Cooperation Department, Government of Manipur, attended the function. Social Welfare Minister Haikam Dingo said Manipur is moving ahead in the path of development under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chief Minister Nongthum Bambirin. He was speaking at the launch of district level Garib Kalyan Samelan at a Chandal DC office multi-purpose hall yesterday. He maintained that peace has been restored in Manipur and road connectivity from Imphal to Chandal district has improved. Chandal District Additional DC officials of various departments and beneficiaries of public welfare schemes attended the event. Ex-Vice President of Manipur People's Party, Y. Bhim, today expressed dissent over the recent announcement by MPP of his bearers calling for its active members to renew their membership in order to get access to the Central Committee meeting before June 5. Y. Bhim alleged that the President who was elected against the party norms should wait for the case pending in the High Court of Manipur in connection with the internal presidential election of the party. He accused that the present President of MPP was elected despite not fulfilling the party criteria. When High Court was case level, case level is no more more than June Manga da renew to do that target. Lay river central committee singing no ikka kani hai bache. Masi yaad diya hai ba. Hindu lay hai jari ba hujhe. Case level ni hai. Case ki matung da mohne rai tarak pa High Court ki matung ni na ma koi na taurak di. Madhu koi na dum yai court ki order ni na. RIMS Imphal has achieved a milestone for cancer treatment. RIMS Director Professor A. Santa today inaugurated cryostat frozen section and automatic immunohistochemistry IHC stainer Ventana for RIMS Pathology Department. Speaking on the occasion, Assistant Professor of RIMS Pathology Department Dr. Lystrom Deepak Kumar said that the cryostat machine will help onco surgeons while conducting surgeries and the machine will help in giving intraoperative report of cancer margin within 15 to 20 minutes besides benefiting the nephrology and dermatology departments. RIMS MS Professor N. Sanjeev, Head of RIMS Pathology Department, Professor Susma Kuraijam and faculty members attended the inaugural function. <laughs> 
Immuno Persons TNC, Huyi, Sumnagi, Huyi, 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 with a vision to help children and underprivileged people, Dr. Pratita Charitable Trust and Diamond Radio Kongjom today opened Dr. Pratita Charitable Diagnostic Center at Kongjom. Retired Director of RIMS, Dr. S. Shekharjit, Chairman of Dr. Pratita Charitable Trust and Diamond Radio Kongjom, Amoyang Tim Hemanta, retired Headmaster S. H. Gopeshwar attended the inaugural event. Speaking on the occasion, retired RIMS Director Dr. S. Shekharjit said, that the diagnostic center has all the components including x-ray machine, ECG, ultrasound, laboratory facility along with physiotherapy to provide valuable services to people. Pre-production ceremony of Shumang Lila Asheng Bayum was held today at the residence of Brahmachari Mayum Roji in Brahmapur and Habamlekai Imphal. A female Shumang Lila group alternative theatre will present the play. Manipur Cultural Council advisor and cultural activist Narendra Ningomba graced the event as the chief guest. Theatre director Dr. S. Thanilema, senior journalist Sonia Sorensangbam, Langtabal Kunja Junior High School headmistress Ketrimayum Babili Nujalema and Nata Sankritana practitioner G. Tombi also attended the event. Proscribed Pre Park Progressive marked its 12th Progressive Day today at the Outfit Central Headquarter, General Headquarter, and different units. Pre Park Press Note informs that Outfit members observed a two minute silence as a mark of respect to late members who had laid down their lives and those who sustained injuries in the Outfit's pursuit. Reading out the statements from party chairman highlight the occasion. Kaibi Kulen Development Committee prohibits poaching at Sambai Purum Reserved Forest. Committee press note says it will take legal actions against trespassers in association with the forest department. In weather news, according to report of India Meteorological Department, Regional Meteorological Center, Guwahati, both hills and valley regions of Manipur will experience medium to heavy rainfall in the coming days. Some areas in Senapati, Kamjong, Ukrul and Chandel district may receive rainfall along with thunder today. Most places of Tamenglong, Zirbam, Chandel, Churachanpur and Frizol district may get rain today and tomorrow. Rain is likely in most of the places of Tamenglong, Zirbam, Chandel, Churachanpur and Frizol district on June 3. Rain is also expected in most places of Senapati, None, Bishnupur, Thaubal and Tenopal district and also in some places of Kangpokpi, Imphal West, Imphal East, Ukrul, Kamjong and Kakching district. The 29th General Assembly of Kuki in P. Manipur, Taukhom, come release event of KIM Sovenia 2022 was held today. Kuki in P. Manipur organized the event at Kuki in Inimphal. Saikul Emle Kim Niao Hang Singh released the souvenir. Neng Boy Haukip, wife of Tribal Affairs and Hills Minister Let Pao Haukip and Kuki Organization for Human Rights Chairman Dr. T. Lun Kim graced the event. Kuki society organizations, social activists, scholars, Kuga, Kapu, Kufida and intellectuals attended the General Assembly meeting wherein topics related to the Kuki society were discussed. The United States will send M142 high mobility artillery rocket system to help Ukraine fight Russia. Ukraine is reportedly fiercely battling to push the Russian soldiers out of Kherson and Kharkiv region and so far they have made some progress in the pursuit. On the other hand, Russian soldiers have made its way through the heart of the industrial city of 
Severodonsk and on the brink of controlling the whole city. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that 60 to 100 Ukrainian soldiers die and another 500 sustain injuries daily when defending the country. He also clarified that Ukraine is seeking weapons including long-range rockets from other powerful countries of the world not to attack Russia but to defend the territory of Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Kyiv and West should come to a conclusion in order to end the food crisis unfolding all over the world. Kelo India Yogasana team representing Manipur at Yogasana Sports Traditional Event left Imphal today. Press release from Manipur Yogasana Sports Association informed that the event will start on June 4 at Haryana's Panchkula. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. 14 cadres of proscribed United Tribal Liberation Army James Group, along with Chairman, surrender to Chief Minister Nongthamba Birin led government with arms. Chief Minister Nong Thuman Biren says Centre has approved Manipur to take loan amount of 3,500 crore rupees from World Bank to convert major roads in Manipur into concrete roads. United Committee Manipur UCM appeals to relevant authorities to immediately stop ongoing fencing work at Border Pillar 81 area in Kwata Kunao. Manipur reports two positive cases of COVID-19 out of 78 samples tested in past 24 hours. No fatality, daily COVID positivity rate stands at 2.56%. And India reports 2,745 new COVID-19 cases, 2,236 recoveries and 6 dead cases in past 24 hours. Active COVID caseload rises to 18,386.